Breslow tasked with restoring Red Sox to glory. Welcome Red Sox fans subscribe to the channel TO receive the latest Red Sox news. Help us reach the thousand subscribers so that our channel arrives for more people I count on all of you. Craig Breslow, the new chief baseball officer of the Red Sox, is an Ivy Leaguer the way Chris Young, the architect of the Rangers team that just won the World Series, is an Ivy Leaguer. Breslow is from Yale. Young went to Princeton. Breslow is 43. Young is 44. Both were pitchers in the big leagues, though Young did it longer and with more success. But what is more important to the baseball jobs they now have isn't what position they played. It's that they did play the game. Breslow doesn't just like players. Someone who knows Breslow told me on Friday and doesn't just like being around them. It's more than that and more than just numbers with him. He respects baseball players. Breslow may be the first baseball executive whose double major was molecular biophysics and biochemistry. But now he takes on the extremely complex problem involving both physics and chemistry of taking the Red Sox from last place back to first. Breslow takes over running the team with the blessing of principal owner John Henry at what has become a crucial crossroads, even if the team is just two years removed from being two games away from going back to the World Series and five years from having won the series with what is considered to be the greatest Red Sox team of them all. Breslow praised by MLB execs at GM meetings, people familiar with the inner workings of the Red Sox are aware of exactly what Henry's mandate was to Craig Breslow, disciple of Theo Epstein, we need to win again. In so many ways, there has not been a more important offseason for Boston since Henry and then-President Larry Luke Chino turned the baseball operation over to Epstein two decades ago when Theo was still in his 20s. There have been a lot of boy wonder executives since. None has been more significant than another Yale man named Epstein, whose 2004 Red Sox won their first World Series since 1918. The Red Sox won the Fall Classic again in 07, then Epstein was running the Cubs when they ended 108 years of waiting for a title when Chicago won the World Series in 2016. Ben Sherrington ran the Red Sox after Epstein left, and Boston won another World Series, its third of the century, in 2013. Dave Dombrowski succeeded Sherrington, and Boston won the Fall Classic again in 18. Then came Heim Bloom, who saw the 21 Red Sox get ahead of the Astros two games to one in the 21 ALCS before they stopped hitting. The Red Sox finished in last place the past two seasons. Breslow, a former Red Sox pitcher, he was a lefty reliever on the 13 World Series champs, has taken over for Bloom. This isn't about Breslow making the team matter again, from Rhode Island to the northern tip of Maine. The Red Sox will always deeply matter to their fans. The old line about the Red Sox is that New Englanders don't regard the Sox as a matter of life and death. The team is far more serious than that. Red Sox fan, do you think the hiring of Craig Breslow was good? Leave your opinion in the comments and leave your like and share and activate notifications and subscribe to the channel TO receive the latest news Red Sox. Help US reach the thousand subscribers so that our channel arrives for more people I count on all of you.